I hope all of you had a wonderful holiday break and are refreshed and ready for the new year. For many of us, it's a time to dream of new opportunities and for better things to come. And it's also a time to reflect on the past year. So let's take a moment to look back at 2021 and the stories of survival and hope told through 21 photographs. Associate Sports Editor Rohit Bichnath and Senior Executive Photojournalist Neo Xiaobin teamed up on the Year in Pictures project and they join me now. Rohit, to you first. How did you and Xiaobin choose the 21 pictures and what was that process like? Well, fascinating actually. Uh, to begin with, I learned a lot of things from Xiaobin because she looks at photographs obviously in a completely different way from, my, from the way that I do. So basically, we were trying to, you know, look do many things. Firstly, we had a list uh, of the news events of the year. So you obviously have to reflect some of that. But we didn't want to become imprisoned only by that. So we were also looking at the visual quality of, of photographs taken during the year. And we we're also trying at the same time while we were looking through these photographs. So we must have looked through maybe over a thousand photographs. We just spent five hours one morning, just both of us looking at laptops uh, and you know, just going through the photos. But we we're also looking for the theme. And I think slowly as we started picking photographs and sometimes we pick the same one and sometimes we pick different ones. And I of course learned a lot from her because as I said, she's such a brilliant photographer and sees photographs in such a different way. But then we came upon a theme slowly and our, our theme became survival and hope. And um, I think we have the news element, but we were also looking at photographs for their beauty, for their sense of wonder, for the emotion that they carried in those photographs, for the stories that they told. And of course, sometimes just for the technical brilliance of the photographers who I have great admiration for. Right. Well, Sopin, let's bring you into this conversation. Which, were, which are your favorite images from the set and, and why? And do they, you know, fall under all these descriptions that Rohit just gave us? Yeah, so I think it, it's hard to pick favorites because like uh, the images were all representative of the world's stories in different ways. Um, like it was interesting working with Rohit, yeah, and then it's always uh, like it's a pleasure to have Rohit playing, paying tribute to photographs and photography in his usual poetic way. And then like uh, basically like what he said, I for imagery is always subjective, right? And then, um, but because he cared very much about the story and emotions and moments behind the image. So if you look at the 21 images that of, uh, we did in the selection, you see a lot of more images of people instead of visuals that show scale. Yeah, so it was really an interesting experience. So if I had to like highlight a few of them, I think it would be the one um, that you see that we use in print on the very first page, the one where the you see the Afghanistan's grounded outside Kabul's airport. Uh, it was taken by Marcus Young from Los Angeles Times. Uh, and then um, basically the Taliban had taken power in Afghanistan. Uh, and as you look at the last American troops withdraw, so you see the people who are standing outside and then you, you see this them watching this solitary silhouette of a military transport plane flying off. And then it leaves us thinking what's next, you know, like for them as they begin this new chapter in their history uh, and after 20 years of war. With images, there's ups and downs, right? Because all our stories are different besides the, the sad moments. Um, we got to highlight a bit more offbeat and feature photos, which was fun. You get to see the Japanese senior like cheerleaders. 
uh, and then we I think one image that I I <laughs> it's not the conventional photojournalism kind of image but I, I think it showed Le Le which is our first mm-hmm. um, panda cup yeah in born in Singapore and then it was really funny because we saw a lot of photos of the baby panda but then this one you you had the mother and and son and then they look like they're posing for like a fashion like model shoot and then yeah the, their poses is like a broken doll pose you know and then they had this world weary faces and they had matching white black and white coats to match so it made a really interesting image of uh and uh, i guess a little bit of a happy one yeah, that was one of my favorites too. So, Rohit, a final question to wrap this up. Was there a particular image that captured what 2021 meant to you? Well, there were three and I'll talk about them quickly. One, of course, was, you know, the refugees in the Mediterranean caught under the this sort of searchlight of the moon. And for me, it was a great, powerful story about survival, about, you know, people, you know, fleeing their homes and yet looking for a home. And, you know, I, I, I found it very moving. And the other two were actually connected, which were which were both photographs about uh, an aspect of life that we have lost a little bit over the past two years, which is touch, and which was one, of course, uh, in a Singapore home of this old lady who's just had a vaccination and this young uh, captain, I think he was uh, a doctor, you know, he's kneeling in front of a wheelchair and he's just, you know, he's got his hand on her hand. And it's a very, very beautiful uh, uh, photograph. And so is the one about this mountain gorilla who had been found as a baby uh, in the Congo uh, by this ranger who works in this uh, gorilla. It's l- really an orphanage for gorillas, the only one in the world. And yeah, I think he rescued her in 2007 when she was two months old. And then she was very ill this year. And this photograph was taken where she's sort of semi lying in his arms just five days before she died. And again, they're touching. And, you know, I, I thought it was a fantastic bond between man and animal about, you know, between these two different uh, tenants of the planet and the planet belongs to all of us and i thought that was a very representative and beautiful image sad as it was rohith bridgenar there associate sports editor and neo xiaobian senior executive photo journalist thank you to both well for a closer look at the 21 photographs selected by xiaobian and rohit you can click on the link in the description below 2021 the year in pictures